What's up, you guys? I just wanted to come in and do a recap of Oprah's um, show last night, the episode when she talked about GLP-1 use and, you know, and all the things about GLP-1. And so just for the most part, my takeaway from it is what I want to kind of discuss with you guys. So overall, I one thing that she did bring up was the fact that after she started taking the GLP-1, that um, she decided that she should step down from Weight Watchers, which is... If you go back and watch my video, I did a video right after she announced that she was stepping down. And that was my take on it then. I didn't know the real reason she stepped down, but she kind of pretty much confirmed it last night. <clears throat> was that it was, I, I figured it was all about the perception of it. You know, even though uh, Weight Watchers is now uh, part of the GLP-1 um, community, is also now, they G Weight Watchers is now uh, offering GLP-1 medications through their program. But what I, I figured it just looked kind of bad, right? It kind of looked crazy that she's taking GLP-1, which I understand why she's taking it. I'm not mad. And I did talk about, you know, like she would have been crazy not to take GLP-1. When you struggle with weight your entire life and you see something that can finally help you and really to understand why the struggle is real. Like you can even see how she teared up a few times during the episode. Like, it's still, you could tell that, you know, this stuff goes deep, right? And we all know the people that's living it and th all of us that's going through it and the whole GLP-1 community, you know, this is, you know, this is di bigger than just I need to fit into a dress, you know? So I could he still f hear, you know, how it still touches her to this day about just dealing with the stigma associated with it and all the things that people said about her over the years. And she finally, and she looks amazing. She looks so good, you know, and just all the purple outfits she wore during the color purple. And so, you know, just her bringing it to the forefront now, I'm just glad that she made a platform for everybody to really openly discuss it. Because there are a lot of people who still are out here shaming people and shaming us. And, you know, saying that we're taking the easy way out because I am a GLP-1 user. I've lost over about 55 pounds. Uh, I was 206 pounds, 202 when I started. And I'm now down to 150. I'm in maintenance at this point. And so, you know, I still, you know, I get the eyes. And sometimes when I make my posts about my journey and, you know, some people look at it like, girl, you know, you ain't even really work for it. But, you know, people don't really understand that we really, it's a lot. It's not we don't choose to be taking an injection and all the side effects and all the things that we, you, you know, all the things. And it's more than just, it's way more than what it looks like. So just know it's not the easy way out, but people look at, Oh, you're not in the gym and you're not doing this, but listen, all of that is a part of our journey, but all the times that we worked out and did all those things and it didn't work for us. So we have now found something that helps. And another thing I really, really enjoy, I appreciate it was that she brought Weight Watchers there. Um, you could tell that they, it was good to see that they still have at least some kind of relationship and then, you know, they're not bitter, hopefully, that she stepped down. I feel like she still left them in a better place than they was because her, you know, them um, bringing GLP-1 into their program, I think if she had to leave, at least she left on that note because I think that program is still beneficial to people. Now they'll have the full, you know, picture with the GLP-1, all the education and all the things that go along with Weight Watchers. So if she had left them before the GLP-1 was introduced into Weight Watchers, it may have been a bigger hit. But I feel like she left them in a good place. So I thought that was good. It was nice seeing the people from Eli Lilly and um, Nor Norvis, uh, the other people that make um, Ozempic. And some the semaglutide, Norris, Nor, <laughs> y'all know who I'm trying to say. I can't get their name out. Anyway, it was nice to see them there, and you know it was brief though. Like, they didn't really add a lot to the episode, <laughs> but they were at the very very end. But she did bring them in and talk about you know a part of, and one of the things she did say to Weight Watchers that I really liked was why should we still why do we need Weight Watchers if we have GLP one because that does that how can that not cross your mind because at the end of the day the GLP one really is getting the job done like do you really need Weight Watchers but I like their response to it which was. Yes, it helps with all the other, the whole picture. So just taking the injection by itself is not the whole picture. You know, it's the education part, it's the support, the family, the, you know, the community, all the things that they were saying. So I, I love their response, and I think that's valid, right? Uh, and so I do, you know, wish them the best. And, and they're, you know, hopefully, you know, they still are able to help a lot of people on their journey. So that was important for me. I, you know, she brought up the, I, um, she brought up the, 
topic about, you know, giving it to um, people, of you know, young to juveniles, um, people that's not an adult yet, and, and the one young lady that was on there and how it changed her life. I do believe that, um, you know, everybody have their choice, and I can imagine the, you know, the backlash a lot of people get for giving their kids medication, um, that type, you know, giving them something. To, to some people, they look at it as superficial, but the medication is really... It's a disease. If you if you look at obesity as a disease, it would make sense that you would give it to your children. Why would you want them to go through their whole to go into adulthood and have to th- battle all the things that we battle? Like why? Why would you choose that for your kid? You know. So I think that was awesome that she, the mother, that mo- the mother of that of the daughter decided to help her daughter. I know she also went through bariatric surgery. She was she had a lot of weight on her. That could not have ended well, you know, and so yes, I I personally, as long as the child can tolerate it, and it's not a lot of issues um, medically, or you know that you know that would prevent us from you know somebody giving. It. I don't have a child that age to give it to, but I definitely would say if it could help them, I would. I definitely think it's not you know it's all it's, it's everybody's choice individually within you, your family to decide if that's something that you want to introduce or not but i just think that again like oprah's biggest goal of the night was to stop the shame stop the shame stop making people feel guilty or bad about trying to find a way to you know save their life it's going to extend so this medication has changed my life and so many people that i know life so I'm just here for all of it. I, I just really enjoyed the episode. I really could relate to the, to the one young one lady that was three hundred some pounds. Now she's down to two hundred pounds, and the tears and oh God, I felt every bit of that. Cause you know, if you know, you know. Everybody who is really going through this journey, we feel we could feel every bit of that lady's pain. The one lady who had on the pink and her mom was with her. That was so touching to see, and just oh, I just you know, listen. We got a long way to go, and I do, and that one thing they also brought up was this is definitely a medication that is going to be lifelong, um, but, you know, there were some people who really complained about some serious side effects, like that one lady, she said, you know, for her, she said it was bad for her, and unfortunately, that is the case for some people. I just thank goodness that for me, my, my side effects was very minimum, and I would say the majority of people's side effects are minimum, but there are going to be some people that cannot tolerate this medication, so... Unfortunately for you guys, uh, you know, because honestly, now that we know that this is not our fault, we are not to be feeling ashamed. And now that we know that there is help for us and this is definitely a disease, what is your option to help you on your journey if you can't tolerate GLP-1, you know? So it's kind of sad because clearly we know that for some people, and one thing she made a good point about was alcoholics. Not all people who drink are alcoholics. The same as not all people who are obese have uh, obese have a d- the disease of obesity. You know, and there are some people who actually can work out and do all the things and lose weight and be effective at it and keep it off for years. And, you know, like she said, to them people, we wish you all the best. But to us and the people who can't, you know, thank God GOP1 was created. And, you know, and so I'm so grateful for it all. And that's just me. I just want to do a quick old, um, recap of what, you know, my takeaway from that interview. I thought it was really good. I hope that this continues to be on the forefront and so we can learn more as we go. I know there's a lot of new medications coming out. I'm looking forward to seeing about those meds and what, you know, how different they're going to be and hopefully lots of more people will get access to this medication which is one of the things they talked about too is how the insurance companies are not covering this and the access and even the mom or the daughter said she can't get it herself because of the cost it's just sad it's just sad and the insurance companies don't want to pay for it which you know they don't want to lose money they just want to take our money but they don't want to you know um, when it's time for them to do you know reimburse it's like now they got every reason not to so yeah but anyway I just want to come in and give y'all an update on what I took away from that interview. And if you haven't seen it, go check it out. It was pretty good.